hello everyone so in this video we are going to start our project and this will be complete end to end aws glue project okay so we have one of the business use case based on that business use case we will try to solve our problem and we will try to see everything from end to end okay so let us first try to understand what is the business use case so our business use case is like we have a data that is available in a amazon s3 location in a csv format okay let me show you the data so this is the particular data which we have let me try to show you that okay so uh, this is a particular data which we have we have a, this is the sales data file which we have this is available in a csv format okay so now what is our requirement so we have data that is available into amazon s3 location in a csv format what actually we are going to do we have to create one etl pipeline so that will be transfer our data from one s3 bucket to another s3 bucket in a aero format okay so whatever the csv format data we are getting we are going to save in another bucket in a avro format okay and so for that we have to create one pipeline and we are going to do some kind of the transformation also that actually we will see whenever we will create a etl pipeline okay so we will see like uh, how actually we can create a s3 bucket and how actually we can upload a file and after that we will see how actually we can create a so first thing we are going to see like create s3 bucket and after that in a glue how we will see like how actually you can create a crawler how actually you can create a etl job script how actually we can perform a some kind of a transformation how actually we can attach a im policy and how actually with the with the help of the lambda so we will actually try to run over the etl jobs so this is the complete thing which we are going to see in this particular project okay so let us start with the practical okay let me open my aws console once you will open the aws console this will look like this so what actually first thing we are going to do we are going to search for the s3 so i'll click on the s3 we will first create the bucket okay so let me click on the create bucket okay i will create a uh, let me give name as a input practical bucket okay so this is a particular bucket name i have given and rest of the things i will i will go with the by default setting i will just click on the create bucket okay one more bucket i am going to create okay so i'll click on the create bucket and this will be our output bucket okay so here only we will save over the output file okay so this is the output bucket and i will just click on the create bucket in a output bucket as of now there is no file but when we will run our pipeline it should save a file from a input bucket to a output bucket so in a input bucket i will go and i will try to upload a file click on the upload button now i am going to upload a file add files now search for the sales data sample okay so this is a vertical file i am uploading click on the upload once you will upload this will get uploaded also okay so this is uploaded successfully so i'll just close it okay so our s3 and our input file is now ready okay now what actually we are going to do i will try to search for the uh, i will open a glue okay because in a glue only we will create a pipeline so i will open in a new tab okay once you will open a glue here actually we are going to create our etl pipeline okay so what is the first thing we have to do we have to first create a crawler what crawler will do crawler will go to the s3 location and it will crawl all the data and whatever the metadata information we will have it will store into a data catalog section okay so one table will get created here okay so first thing what we have to do we have to create a crawler so i'll click on the crawler click on the add crawler and give the crawler name what is your crawler name so i will give a project glue something something name you can give click on the next okay once you will click on the next the next session will come okay 
here it is asking like the crawler source type what is it, whether it is a data store or existing data log table because uh, we are taking it from a uh, data stores let me click on the back so it is asking for the crawler source type so i'll select the data store and i am going to select the crawl all the file which is available into s3 location okay so i'll select the crawl all folder click on the next it is asking for the choose a data store so it is a s3 so i will select that and after that it is asking for the crawl data into particular in include path so we will select the path okay so i'll go and i will select my input path which is available into s3 location okay after that we'll just click on the next it is asking like whether you want to add another data store or not i will not select so i'll just click on the next and after that we have to create one im role okay so here we just have to give the name okay so i will give name as a glue project project one something okay so that uh, we will go and we will attach some more policy later but we should remember this is the particular im role we are creating okay so i will give that and i will click on the next okay and after that it is asking like uh, create a scheduler for this crawler what is the frequency whether you want to run hourly basis daily basis weekly monthly so i will select run on d1 because we are doing a project i will click on the next and after that we have to create a database because under database only it is going to create a table so i will select the database name as a glue click on the create okay after that click on the next and after that what actually we will do we will just click on the finish okay now after that our crawler will get ready okay our crawler will be ready you can see crawler is now in a ready state just click here and click on the run crawler so now the crawler will start and it will create one table okay so the table will get added here you can see after data catalog we have one uh, database and the in under database we have a table okay so one table will get created as of now in the status is starting state so once it will complete uh, the one table will get created okay so what this table will contain this table will contain the uh, schema a schema about the data okay whatever the s3 file we have it will crawl all the data and it will create one table okay so that actually will get created so we have to wait it to be completed okay so data catalog will have all the metadata information about your data okay about your data store okay so the step is very simple first we have to create a crawler and with the crawler we'll do a crawling of your data store and it will create one table you can see one table is now added okay now if you go to the table location you will be able to see this is our s3 file and this is the table which is now got created okay now our table is now created what actually we will do we will go to the atl option and we are going to create a atl script so click on the jobs okay now we will create a atl script atl jobs okay so we have a multiple option like if you have already scripts ready so that directly with the script you can create a job and with the visual also you can create okay you can see the visual with a source and target visual with a blank canvas sparse script python shell script jupyter notebook multiple options are there we will select the visual with the source and target click on the create okay with the visual you can create uh, this source and the target so i'll just click on the source what is our source so this is we are selecting data catalog table so i will select what is my database glue which we have created and table name i will select that now my source is ready this is how simple it is as of now let me try to delete this now let me try to remove the target and all okay so my source is now ready okay i'll click on the source now after that what actually i will do i'll try to do some kind of the transformation you can see there are multiple transformation we have available we have line mapping select field drop field drop null field uh, drop duplicate these are the multiple transformation which is available so with the visual itself you can create okay so let me select one of the transformation let me select the select field okay so in the select field what actually happen you whatever the field you want that field actually you can select okay so to do that to show you i will select some of the field okay let me select some of the field that field only i want to have okay so i will select uh, let me select this menu only okay so if you will go to the output schema you will get this is the uh, this is the 
column which we have selected okay now uh, if you want to add more transformation click here click on the transformation and uh, if you want to do some kind of the filtering the filter condition also you can give and if you want to drop any kind of the field suppose let me select the drop field which field you want to uh, drop and let me select this so this this particular msrp this field will get dropped you can see this field is not dropped okay after that let us try to add a target okay let, let me select my target what is my target my target is amazon sc so i will select that so this is how our etl will get ready okay in our target what actually i want to save into which format i want to save into avro format okay we have a multiple option whatever option you want you can save into that format okay i will select the avro format and the target location where actually you want to save you have to specify that i want to save into a output so i will select that okay and uh, now our uh, target is also ready okay with this if you will go to the script the automated script etl script will ge get generated okay you can see generating scripts so this is the script which got generated based on our visual okay if you already have a script and with the script you want to do you can do but if you don't know with the visual also you can create automated script okay and after that what actually you have to do you have to go to the job details and you have to give the job name uh, i will give job name as a glue project something this is the uh, job name i am giving after that we have to select the i am role so this is the i am which i will select okay and uh, after that it is asking for the glue version language language is python that is fine worker type i select the worker as a two because it will cost more it will select more workers but that is also not required because we are doing a practical and after that the timeout i will suggest select as a five in advanced option also we have some kind of the parameter if you want to pass that also you can specify but we will not select that okay so this is how our uh, script is now ready you have to click on the save once you will click on the save uh, this will get ready and if you will go to the rest from here actually you can run but if you will run it will give you error because what is the i am which we have selected this is the i am we have selected which we have created glue project right but this is not having a particular policy let me search for the i am okay and uh, click on the new tab okay once you will click on the new tab go to the new tab and let me search for the particular role okay uh, so go to the roles if you go to the roles so this is the particular role we have created right click on that and let us try to attach a permission okay as of now you can see we have only the glue service role access let's add more role click on the attach policy and we want to give a s3 also right so i will select the s3 and i want to give amazon s3 full access as of now so i will just select that okay and i'll click on the attach policy okay i will add more uh, for the with the help of lambda also we want to trigger right so i will click on the lambda see uh, because we are doing a practical that's why i am giving a full access but in a real time in a production you have to give only the limited permission you cannot give all the permission okay so that is the thing only you have to remember click on the lambda so i will select this lambda execute okay and um, uh, this is a particular execution one this and i will select let me try to see aws glue something is there or not uh, so this is the two things which i will select or i will select the aws lambda full access as of now okay so this one i will select i'll click on the attach policy okay so this is the policy we have attached now what actually we will do so now if you go to the run and if you will uh, do a run job this will this pipeline will be running but now what actually we are going to do we will see how actually we can run this job with the help of lambda okay so i will search for the lambda okay i'll open in a new tab we will create one function and there actually we will pass this okay once you will open a lambda okay this will look like this what actually we are going to do we are going to create a function click on the create function uh, author from sketch give any kind of the lambda name i will give as a lambda glue as a name okay you can give any name after that we have to select the on which part you want to runtime we are selecting as a python 
okay after that we have to select on the permission okay you should have a you should give a proper permission so for that i will i am going to create a new role okay click on the create a new role give the role name okay i am giving a role name as a aws uh, blue lambda something okay and after that i will just click on the create function okay after that the function will get ready so what actually we are going to do i have one of the script okay this is the particular script i have uh, the boto script here we are going to just paste that script okay i just paste this script and what is our job name job name is a glue project right so what actually i will do i will just try to pass the job name as a uh, what is our uh, glue job name okay once you will do click on the deploy okay now we have to attach a policy also click on the configuration go down this is the role name we have created right so click on that now here we will try to attach more policy okay otherwise you will get error so uh, click on the add permission attach policy so we will select some of the policy this is the policy we have created for the glue and let us try to for the lambda also it should execute properly so for that also execute policy like one is the AWS lambda execute and uh, uh, as of now I will select the lambda full access but uh, because I am doing a project but you should give only the limited access okay so once you will do that it is successfully now go to the your uh, lambda function okay this is the lambda function I have. Click on the code. Click on the test. Click give any event name. I'll give just a lambda glue something event name. Okay, I'll select the private. And this event we are not passing, so I'll just remove that and click on the save. Okay, and okay. So after giving the after giving the proper access, our glue job is started. Okay, let me go to the glue, go to the run, okay, with the help of the lambda only it got started. Okay, so with the help of the lambda you can uh, create a trigger. Okay, only the one thing we have to remember, uh, once you will create a role, you have to assign a particular permission, otherwise it will give error, so in RM you should give a particular access, okay. And after that with the help of this code, we will be able to trigger our the glue job.